In this demonstration, we'll show the workflow to quantize deep learning networks and deploy them to GPUs and FPGAs from MATLAB. Deploying deep learning networks to edge devices is challenging because deep learning networks can be quite compute intensive. For example, relatively simple networks like AlexNet is over 200 megabytes, while larger networks like VGG16 is north of 500 megabytes. Quantization can help you to deploy these networks on low power microcontrollers and smaller FPGAs. The goal of quantization is to reduce the size of the network and compute requirements by converting floating point values used in the networks to smaller bit widths while simultaneously keeping the precision loss to a minimum. Starting in release 2020A, we released the ability to quantize deep learning algorithms using a white box, easy to use iterative workflow. This approach helps you to make trade-offs between performance and accuracy. To see this workflow in action, let's take an example of detecting defects in nuts and bolts that you might find in manufacturing. Let's say this is part of an inspection of a production line, so we need to use a high-speed camera processing at 120 frames per second. Requirements from system engineering will involve metrics like accuracy, latency of the network, and overall hardware cost. And they often drive trade-offs of choices during the design and implementation of the network. This application includes pre-processing logic that resizes and selects a region of interest, using the pre-trained network to detect where the part is defective or not, and finally, post-processing to annotate the results on the screen. Let's get started with quantization workflow by looking at deployment to embedded GPUs. Quantizing and deploying to GPUs running on an NVIDIA Jetson AGX Xavier achieves 2x speedup in performance and 4x memory reduction, and with only around 3% top 1 accuracy loss compared with single precision implementations. This example uses SqueezeNet that consumes 5 megabytes of disk memory. To start, we first download the Deep Learning Toolbox Model Quantization Library support package from the add-on explorer and then launch the app. Once we load the network to quantize for the GPU target, we then calibrate with a data store that has already been set up. Calibration runs a set of images through the network to collect required ranges for weights, biases, and activations. The visualization represents histogram distributions of the calibrated dynamic ranges in power of 2 scale. The gray in the histogram shows data that cannot be represented by the quantized type, while the blue shows what can be represented by the quantized type. Finally, darker colors are higher frequency bins. If this is acceptable, we quantize the network and load a data store to validate the accuracy of the quantized network. So here's the result. Memory has been reduced by 74% with no loss in top 1 accuracy compared with the original floating point network when measured on the desktop GPU. Once we validated the results and export the DL quantizer workflow object, we can then use GPU Coder to deploy the quantized network onto the NVIDIA Jetson board. We now run inference for the defective image and we expect this to be classified as a defective bolt. Now, Let's turn our attention to quantizing and deploying networks to a Xilinx ZCU102 board. The network uses 34 megabytes of memory for learnable parameters and a runtime memory of 200 megabytes. With these five lines of MATLAB code, we can load the single precision bitstream running on the ZCU102 board. We see that it uses 84 megabytes of memory with a throughput of 45 frames per second. This is definitely not fast enough for a high-speed camera. So let's choose to quantize for FPGAs in the Deep Network Quantizer app. Once the quantization workflow is completed, we'll export the quantized network to the MATLAB workspace. The quantized network needs to run on the processor quantized to int8. So we'll use the int8 version of a downloaded ZCU102 bitstream. After compiling, the parameters have been reduced to 68 megabytes, and we can run the network at 139 frames per second. We are getting the right prediction results as well. So as you can see, the Deep Learning Quantization app helps you to reduce the size of the deep learning network for GPUs and FPGAs while minimizing the loss in accuracy. If you're interested to learn more, 
take a look at the deep learning toolbox model quantization library in release 2020A or the latest release 2020B. Thank you.